Good day, everybody. This is Brian from quantlabsnet.com. Today, uh, we've got the new uh, Open AI ChatGPT 5 has come out a few hours ago. I got my hands on it right away. I was able to test what I tested last night, my prior video, and I was very impressed with what Anthropic brought out with the uh, Claude 4.1 Opus. This chat GPT-5, I will say, is very good. Um, it's kind of on par with uh, chat, with uh, whatever Anthropics got going on. But I'm going to show you uh, what I was able to generate with it. But there was a big, severe caveat. But for me, I have, I have a strategy how to plan this now. So as it, as it stands right now, um, I have a package I've just up, I'll upload to my members, Quant Leap members for this. Just look for the um, August 6 IBKR uh, GPT project. Um, I didn't put any of the interactive brokers connectivity in it yet, but I will do in the next couple of days just to test it um, because I'm pretty well, if I can get the interactive brokers working with the gateway in Linux, I, I don't see a point in keeping everything in Windows with the TWS, the Trader Workstation. Anyways, back to the ChatGPT 5. I've got two versions here. I've got one where I'm able to generate a pricing engine with a strategy, uh, executive summary of I've talked about before. Uh, this time I was able to generate a actual interface with an with a HTML file as a front end. So let me show you that. So this is the first version, all in uh, C++. Ooh, let me just see here. Um, yeah, let me just uh, do something here. Okay, so these are my compiles. They're very simplistic as well, which is a good thing. So let me just compile this. It's one simple C++ file. Um, so this is, okay, so I believe, yeah. So what this will do is it will generate uh, a file based upon the data I have provided, um, offering uh, a synopsis on the pricing of RTY using an arbitrage strategy entry, uh, and the exit, along with some stats here, uh, the long columns ZC and the CC iron condor. So here you have the take profit, you have the implied volatility, the credit uh, with the stop loss, forecast PNL. So this is 100% generated by the AI, which is again, ChatGPT 5. This is not the nano, this is not the mini, this is the full version, okay? So we're already seeing some good signs here. Here's a portfolio it comes up with, with the reported allocation and trying to calculate the optimized uh, portfolio as well. So with the expected return plus the uh, volatility and the maximum drawdown, quite good. Okay, I've also looked at the source code um, and it's pretty impressive. Uh, very clean, very concise C++ code. So I give that a prop there to OpenAI to generate this. These are very complicated props. Um, so what you can see here, it's generating a file here, a JSON file, and it's suggesting that the RTY is the most profitable over the next four weeks. Fine. So if if I look at the um, front end, the the index HTML, which uh, again the um, ChatGPT created. Uh, if I go in and open that, uh, which is pretty impressive in itself to be able to do this with an AI, it's the first time I've ever seen this. Even uh, the Opus 4.1 struggled to do to generate this, but yeah, it, it generated exactly what I wanted with um, with the uh, with this. So here's the the HTML. So it's very simple: C++ an HTML file. Okay. So here we can load up that JSON file as I suggested, or as I'm supposed to. Um, let's see here. Uh, I guess I have to navigate to it. Uh, and here, so I'm gonna go here. 
strategies, ChatGPT, uh, this one right here, and that's the JSON file that we generated just prior. Okay, so you can see here, it's giving us the vitals. Okay, it's doing us exactly what I want. Um, a, a projected uh, profile uh, with the PL, the uh, portfolio volatility, max drawdown. It's all projected using uh, the open chain data. Um, here's the optimized current. I mean, I probably will have to tweak it. Um, and here's the pricing levels portfolio, the cumulative PL. Um, across the different ones. We know that the RTY is the best one, which is great. Um, and again, we have our, hist so this is a backtesting part, the historical volatility along with the historical max drawdown. So it's kind of like taking the data that I used yesterday, same, everything's the same, same prompting, same data set, everything's the same. Um, but this is a really good little synopsis of seeing everything as it is so here's the the rules so i have to say that's pretty impressive okay so that seems to work just fine so what i did was i'm able to generate a um as i said an index html file front end a primitive one but to show exactly what i wanted in my prompt next one is the next version is i just wanted a um a uh, cli uh, version command line interface only so it generated this one thing i'll have to say about chat gpt is um i generated it there was no iterating whatsoever to correct it it's that good uh, especially with the complexity of the problem so i mean open ai has really leapfrogged here uh ahead of the game uh to to, to stay up to date with the manus and the anthropic stuff uh, they've done a really powerful and an impressive result here, I, I have to say. So again, I've shown this kind of thing before. Again, this is now generated by the ChatGPT 5. You can see here, here's all our options. So similar uh, CLI apps that I've shown in C++. We can toggle our strategies, show our current allocation, I show our, a four-week guidance. Uh, with the entries, take profit, stop loss, forecast PL with the volatility and the max drawdown. We show um uh year-to-date back test. Again, everything I'm asking for in my prompting. PL drawdown volatility per strategy and portfolio. This is exactly what I asked for and exactly what I got. Recompute dashboard, um, and so on. So you can see here we've got the current allocation, units computed, four week uh guidance strategy rules all that stuff uh with the portfolio and so on pretty impressive and you see here i have all the strategies enabled uh one thing i have to say about the chat gpt which was limiting i guess you could say is that um it's fairly fast um the output is not generated as you would see in real time like with gemini or any of the anthropic or even with the manus as well that's all display as it's processing with the chat GPT, nothing's changed. Get that little circle with elapsed time, and after a certain point, it'll it'll, it'll bring out the final output. Um, so there's some questions there. The other big thing, I think, is just based upon um, that I understand there's going to be a tier of chat GPT Pro. I have not gotten access to that yet, but the limitation I have right now, as you know, when I was to generate my Streamlit app, I am uploading about forty plus word documents um and uh, i was able to do it no problem with the new opus 4.1 i was able to do it no problem the gemini gemini 2. pro 2.5 pro with the gemini um and i did run into problems with chat gpt 5 where it gave me some token uh input max was already allocated or reached so it's limited there but maybe if they bring out a, a chat gpt pro uh, version tier that will fix it uh, make it more even more intelligent i would assume uh, again I'm, I, I can easily pay for these i don't mind um but so far it, it is impressive so here's my strategy so far to develop these things continue developing them in the opa the opus 4.1 quad um i think what i showed yesterday is beyond impressive 
for the Streamlit app, for the research. Um, it was just one or two iterations to get it running, which is impressive in itself. Very complicated coding. Uh, here on the, call it the pricing engine, and I've yet to test it with ChatGPT5 with the interactive brokers uh, gateway coding and seeing if it can code up the um, plumbing for that. As, as I said, I'll probably test that next week. Um, and we're pretty well advanced and ready to go. I mean, this thing's ready to go. I'm also ready to go to deploy cash and to test out these micro options and futures uh, contracts. So I'm ready there as well. But I do think right now between Opus 4.1 and Claude and the uh, this new chap at GPT-5, we're ready to go. So let me, let, enough of that ranting. As you can see here, uh, we've got our options here. So if I was to toggle on and off the strategies, um, toggle which, I don't know. Okay, so um, going back to the menu option here. So we have here our current allocation and optimize the portfolio. Um, so here you can see we have the weightings. Uh, and uh, not sure if I can optimize these. Um, then we get into four week forward guidance entry, take all that fun stuff. So there you go. Uh, as you can see here, RTY, RTY uh, struck arbitrage. So you could see clearly in that HTML file that the RTY was going to give you the best profit. So, you know, before I was to launch some kind of bot, whatever you want to call it, uh, I would disable the two other strategies because that clearly gave the highest take profit level, $1,400 contract with stop loss, da, 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 da. So and so forth. So I would turn off the ZC and the CC Coco um, as well, and go all in with the RTY. As just as a as a suggestion, obviously this is for demonstration purposes only, not to be used as for projection on trading. You, you get killed otherwise, unless you know what you're doing. But I still wouldn't do it. Um, so uh, we have here um, uh, our projections here for week profit. Uh, 5985 volatility. So right there, is that a, is that a a uh, hallucinated uh, volatility? So we got to be careful here how we do this, okay? Because that that right there, that right there, is to be questioned. So on the first go around, is it already? You're telling me it's already hallucinating? It's brand new, but who knows? But we'll we'll see what we can do with it uh, as we use more of it next week. Okay, so um, let's see here. Uh, so we have some uh, strategies here, all the projection, the portfolio, all that fun stuff, and the back testing, uh, all that. Okay, so we have our back test profit twenty three thousand eight hundred. Again, volatility annual at 144. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we have looked at that option. Let's look at the, uh, okay, so let's take a look at the year to date back test. Um, so, right here, you can see uh, the best one that was pro most profitable was RTY. And again, this is to be questioned as well. Oh, no, that's the total. Um, so, these two, did not show any profit at all. Okay, so we got problems already. I'm seeing with this. So, um, yeah. Again, you could probably get problems with the anthropic ones too, as well. So let's see here. Uh, version five. Recompute the dashboard. Okay, so let's recompute it. Yeah, nothing's changed, and let's break it down. So there you go. That's the uh, ChatGPT five. Some crazy looking data, uh, hallucinating. I would think so. Um, looks good conceptually, but to be trusted, I don't know. I'd have to really dig into it. Uh, it did generate some interesting code. I can't say if it's a hundred percent. Has to be verified. But so far, just to get to this point, I have to say I'm impressed. Do I trust it? That's tough to say.
Um, but the, also the ability to generate a, an exactly what I want, a JavaScript uh, HTML file with a front end with all the charts using the, uh, the uh, charge JS that I wanted uh, along with a C++. The code looks good. Where it hallucinates, I don't know. I could probably go back into it and uh, tell it, hey, man, you're hallucinating. Uh, you have to improve it. I, I've always done that, and it usually will acknowledge in the output that it did hallucinate, and it, it will readjust stuff. So I didn't do that, but you might be able to do that. Another way to reduce hallucinating is to uh, take this, the program, uh, the source files, and pass them into a uh, another LLM. Uh, to see if that will correct it. That can be done because you're already doing the hard work with the first go around. You already have the source code. So now you're trying to iterate it, improve it, optimize it, get it to a point where it looks realistic. So that can also happen as well. But right now, how I look at it, I do think that the uh, quad 4.1 Opus the, it just came out a few days ago, obviously to circumvent and compete against this new Ch Ch Chat GPT 5. Uh, so far, I, I found that it can generate a streamlet app, no problem with what I've done in the past. Really impressive. Uh, looks realistic, too. I didn't see any form of hallucinating. I have to really dig deep to see if that's the case. Um, also, the pricing, uh, the Opus 4 Quad one did a pretty good job um, as well. I didn't look at the source code there. Uh, and then here we are with the ChatGPT 5. So it's early days. So I'll take a look at everything as I work with it more next week. But I just wanted to get a glimpse if it was going to suck. Far from it. Um, it's impressive. I think it's still got a lot of improving in the background, which you'll never see. Um, that's what they're doing with the Gemini 2.5. But to be truthful, um, Anthropic's doing a bang-up job. But I, I can see how uh, OpenAI did put a lot of effort to, to make this a really world-class LLM. I think they're well on their way. They've leapfrogged ahead majorly. So a lot of the other providers now have to catch up. The big one where the real pressure is on is obviously Meta. Um, Grok probably is going to get left behind here a lot, um, along with uh, Gemini 2.5 on the coding front. It's not very good, um, especially now the latest from Claude uh, 4.1 Opus, and now with this new ChatGPT 5. This is pretty killer. And these are very complicated problems, I must add. These are not just standard static HTML, design me a website. These are very complex. Anyways, if you want to know more about what I'm doing, uh, what I would do, go to my website, quantlabsnet.com. And uh, in there, you can just fill out your info. Uh, get your free C++ HFT book, um, how they do it, the big firms. If you want, you can go through the fancy one under learn. All the info is not released at all. Um, another thing I need to mention here, uh, if you want to learn about the different strategies that this thing generates, the futures, the options, best place to go is to start learning futures and options. Well, I'm going to start live trading it probably hopefully in the next week. Uh, as the these LLMs have gotten very advanced, um, thanks to everybody to help me get to the point where I, I can boost my trading capital. Uh, and that's through this promo. I'll do more promos to boost other, uh, call it campaigns, to get me to the next point uh, where I want to go. And that's why you want to be on my email list to know about this stuff. Uh, but this is um, a a course that is important to know because it's the fundamentals of where we are in trading. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day.